a uh, very good afternoon ladies and gentlemen today i am here at in belgavi i have got a very interesting guest mr satin satish netelkar managing partner netelkar power transmission it's good to meet you satish ji at your facility here in belgavi uh, to start our discussion i wanted to know more about your company how it started the journey yes. of your company okay yeah good afternoon uh, i am satish netelkar i am a managing partner of this company and uh, my journey started at my when i was a child my father started this industry uh, in the year 1965 and then in 1979 i joined this company i am the second generation okay my third generation is my my children okay two daughters okay. sonia pooja okay. and my son is aditya okay they joined immediately after their graduation in engineering mm-hmm. and uh, they are independently looking after departments mm-hmm. sonia looking after new development okay. and new business okay. then pooja takes care of all purchases okay. and aditya takes care of production planning everything he takes care okay. so sir quality is something everybody is talking about as a company how do you make sure your your products which are been manufactured here at your facility are top notch yes uh, see the ma- our major component what we manufacture is crankshaft mm-hmm. and crankshaft is a very very critical component of the engine correct and there are about 400 parameters mm-hmm. in every crankshaft correct which are to be maintained as per the drawing correct and if anything goes wrong mm-hmm. any one parameter goes wrong mm-hmm. the whole engine is uh, rejected correct so it is very very necessary to s- check each mm-hmm. and every parameter is maintained well within the drawing limit correct so the basically what we do is for every operation mm-hmm. see there are around 18 to 20 operations in a crankshaft correct. on different machines correct on every machine correct we have in process gauges mm-hmm. or the bokai case correct wherein the faults are been arrested mm-hmm. so nothing goes wrong with that process correct so the process itself is assured okay and then after every process the crankshaft every operation wise mm-hmm. it is been checked correct immediately after removing from the machine correct likewise all machines are like that correct and we have very 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 sophisticated uh, mm-hmm. machines mm-hmm. Uh, which are very critical okay. uh, they maintain the sizes in few microns mm-hmm. single digit microns correct and whenever you are having a beautiful machines or the very accurate machines correct. it is also necessary mm-hmm. to have the equal quality or equal accuracy mm-hmm. inspection instruments mm-hmm. so particularly for a crankshaft there is a specially machine called as adcol okay which is is so recognized mm-hmm. if i give the report of that machine from that uh, equipment okay the my customer believes it okay blindly he says yes okay so likewise all the operations are uh, checked when during the operation correct and then afterwards at the end before dispatch mm-hmm. there will be a firewall station okay wherein any minor things Correct. which are maybe happen Correct. those still will be taken care and Correct. then there will be a pre dispatch inspection uh, station mm-hmm. wherein the all the critical operations are checked sequence wise okay no operation is skipped no okay. inspection is skipped okay. okay so that we get the best crankshaft and that goes even for the crankshaft the uh, cleanliness of the crankshaft mm-hmm. is very very critical okay so if any small dust also is there it will again uh, okay. affect the engine correct so it is very critical and after we complete the um, inspection mm-hmm. when we send it to the customer mm-hmm. i think from last 6 to 7 years okay. more than that not a single crankshaft okay is uh, our customer has found rejected oh 100% so success 100% whatever we said it is termed in ppm okay normally parts per million oh 
So our parts per million at customer end is you can say zero. Ah, okay. that's a good achievement. Yes. So now is my two part question. One, how do you see the growth of this company in the coming five years? The second part is any new announcement, any new launches uh, from your side. So two part question. First, the five years growth plan for your company. How do you see this company growing in uh, you know for, for uh, five years and be any new uh, launches or you know announcement from your side yeah uh, see whenever a industry like this we have to plan our future for not five years but for 10 years ah. we should be looking ahead for 10 years okay because what is going to happen how the government policy can affect our business mm -hmm. taking all into consideration mm -hmm. this crankshaft mm -hmm. goes to the IC engine Yes. internal combustion engine yes. and now people are talking about electric uh, vehicle, vehicles yes. but simultaneously the government is working on uh, alternate fuel yes like ethanol or hydrogen hydrogen yes so if that continues the engines will remain yes and crankshaft demand and the engine demand will continue yes and that is going to happen and we are seeing uh, we have been traveling to most of the I mean, around the world and we see that IC engine is going to remain okay. and the major where we get the actual uh, uh, knowledge or about the its uh, uh, how the engine will go for means whether the engine will stay further or not uh -huh. we discuss with the machine manufacturer Correct. who are in the specifically in the machines who are making machines for the crankshaft mm -hmm. and they have a lot of orders correct for next five years they say it is going to be very correct big market correct so for crankshaft will go okay and then uh, presently we are buying our raw material is uh, forging mm -hmm. and we are buying the forging from outside okay but we are going backward integration okay and we are putting up a forging plant okay a new greenfield forging plant okay with fully automated okay plant okay and i think that whatever we are going to put up the plant i think that will be one of its kind in india okay uh, we are coming up as a backward integration mm -hmm. we are coming up with a greenfield forging plant mm -hmm. Uh, which will be a fully automated and mm -hmm. uh, one of its kind in the world okay where we will be manufacturing the crankshaft forgings okay. and other forgings mm -hmm. it is a uh, hot forging mm -hmm. and there are many companies there is a big market for the forging correct that's what we are seeing our okay. future growth okay. and for that my daughters and uh, my son they are putting up their all efforts okay. to make that plant okay. successful. Okay. The credit will go to Sonia, Pooja and Aditya. Okay. It's good to you know, hear this that you know, young guns are taking the lead and you yes. know, helping the father to make, the, make you proud and you know, making the uh, 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 fresh you know, business you know, in that. My last question before we leave sir. Uh, I see uh, Lagu Dyog Bharti is uh, doing great work in uh, Belgavi and I met so many members. So can can you and I see a very good bond uh, with you know all the Lagu Dyog Bharti members. So what is the secret sauce behind you know everybody you know working in a way synchronized manner. What is the success uh, mantra for Lagu Dyog Bharti and especially in Belgavi people seems nice to me. So what is the success for yes. what is the sauce secret sauce for that? <laughs> See, the Belgam people are very sp soft spoken mm -hmm. and they help each other. Mm -hmm. And if you see the industry which has grown in Belgam, mm -hmm. it is grown because of the interest taken by the entrepreneurs. Correct. Not because any help has is been given to them. Correct. It's their own efforts. Correct. And Belgam people are very helpful in the uh, to each other correct except few things means where there is a competition certainly there yes. will be some yes. uh, but otherwise people help each other yeah. and even if you see some uh, same industry for example if uh, foundries 
all the foundry uh, owners are very good friends. Yes. So that things uh, takes the Belgam right. industry growth. Right. So it's good to meet you, sir, and thank you for giving me the time. Uh, I could have asked so many questions, so many you know things are coming into my mind, and I know it's a busy day for you. Yeah. Uh, thank you, sir. Looking forward to meet you soon for uh, you know in Bangalore or some other time to carry our discussion, or maybe I will come for the you know the inauguration where we, you do the you know your new facility. Launch. Oh, okay. Looking forward yes, to see yes, you soon, sir. sir. Yes, yes. Thank you, sir. I will be happy to invite yes. you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have Mr. Aditya Netalkar. Um, hi, Aditya. Hello. Uh, it's good to meet you here at your, uh, you know, Belgavi facility. Thank you. Can you let our readers know what do you do, your role, and little bit more about the companies, the sections or the areas you are looking at? Sure. Uh, I am I'm the partner at Netalkar Power Transmission, and I am heading the production, which involves planning, scheduling, uh, customer interaction, so production is in the center and basically all the departments revolve around uh, it. Okay. So you have quality, maintenance, commercial, all the activities actually depend on what is the schedule or how the produ production demand is. Okay. So production doesn't just mean take a, what is the requirement taking in the machine and getting out of the machine. Yes. So it comes with quality as well. Yes. And that is where we are, as Nithalkar, we are known for uh, producing and supplying quality products. Correct. That's the reason the oldest customer that Mahindra is with us over uh, three decades. Oh. So that is for, for, uh, for over four decades. Okay. So that is the reason uh, quality is at pa paramount at Nitalga Power Transmission. Okay. So sustainability is something which everybody is talking about. Yes. So how do how does Nitalga's uh, you know how does your company you know take sustainability as uh, uh, a topic or a something important you know in the company okay so sustainability uh, is a concept which is not new for us actually correct it is uh, from the uh, from the beginning but yes in a corporate lifestyle uh, i have seen a lot of industrial waste uh, that is uh, that is being generating correct so it is our uh, responsibility of individual responsibility to minimize the waste so that we uh, can save uh, protect the environment correct so, like, we use a lot of uh, oils in our industry, mm -hmm. which get uh, wasted, uh, wasted away. Correct. So, what we do is, uh, we, uh, whatever the waste oil is being generated, mm -hmm. we normally take, uh, soak it uh, and may filter it and again reuse in uh, the machinery. Okay. That is one of the way we, uh, we care for the environment, thereby reducing the wastage. Yes. Also, also I, in my engineering days, I had developed a machine called oil recovery machine, okay. where... Uh, I you I uh, the oil that has been uh, left over, mm -hmm. I heat it, reduce the viscosity, and again plunge back into the machine, thereby okay. reusing the oil, oil in in the machinery. Correct. Also, the, we have something uh, facility called as uh, not here but uh, in Belgium or outside Belgium called effluent treatment plant. Okay. Where the coolants that uh, the industrial oils coolants that is being generated, Correct. we give it to the recycling facility. Okay. So that uh, waste uh, wastage is avoided and uh, any uh, harmful chemicals being disposed of to the environment, we can recycle it and again bring it back to the industry. Correct. And since you are the third generation yes. who has joined the workforce, yeah. So a what made you since uh, um, you have studied from UK, yeah. So you know why not you know sit back and you know did your corporate dreams. Okay. You joined the workforce. So what made you join the company and what are your key learnings and how you are putting, you know, how you con how are you contributing towards the growth of the company? Okay. So officially, I joined the business uh, in 2016. Okay. But during my childhood days, I used to uh, go with my father for okay. a customer visit. Okay. So normally during summer holidays, he used to not let me uh, relax at home. Okay. He used to take me uh, in Two the districts. customer field visits. Basically, if I even if I don't understand, just to see how it uh, how the interaction happens. Correct. So from there the interest uh, got developed and in the UK yes uh, there was a lifestyle of uh, weekday working and uh, weekend off so so for around I have worked for around six years okay. so this change in lifestyle of uh, five days six day working was not suitable for me correct 
so that is the way that okay, I decided to pack my bag and again rejoin the business here. Correct. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have Miss Pooja Netalkar. Uh, so, can you tell Pooja what do you do in the company? Yes. First. Uh, well, uh, I am the Chief Operating Officer okay. and I mainly take care of purchasing in this company. Okay. Uh, purchasing as in you have the daily consumables like the tools, uh, taps, drills, grinding wheels, etc. Okay. Then there is oils and lubricants purchasing okay. and other general commodities purchasing, whatever is required mm -hmm. uh, in the uh, machining of the components, Correct. of the engine components, what we make here, the crankshafts and other related components, uh, the, uh, those purchasing is what I take okay. care of. And you are the third generation, you know, entrepreneur, I can say, joining the workforce. So what made you, A, join the company and how you are, you know, fueling, you know, pushing your energy in the growth of the company? Uh, what made me join my company yes. is basically, uh, you know, our parents, okay. first of all, their upbringing, okay. uh, father and mother, okay. uh, and especially our mother, okay. she's always been pushing us okay. that you have to be independent. Okay. Uh, A is that, and B is she always said that you have to generate employment. Yes. And C is what she says that we always have to contribute to the society and the country we are living in. Okay. So those, you know, uh, those teachings of theirs was always there in the back of the mind. And it, you, uh, we have seen uh, our father, I, I can call him, he's a workaholic. Okay. So we, he, we've seen him working, you know, throughout his life with, with passion, actually. Correct. And that is what our father has taught us. Whatever you do, do it with interest, do it with passion. Uh, so, you know, looking at the two of them is what, uh, you know, uh, made you join, made, the company. join the company. And yeah. of course, my elder sister, Sonia, okay. Okay. Uh, she is the one, you know, who first joined the company okay. and uh, you know I, I, I look up to her you know okay. I, I like the way she carries herself you know the way uh, her decisions you know kind of our uh, tastes match quite a lot so you know then looking uh, you know looking on to her is what I've joined in history. So I can say the great bond in the family the va family values what you have in your home is yes. bringing the same culture in the company so that is you know helping and thriving the grow up to grow